Coventry United TV after a breathtaking FA Cup match against Westfields. 1-0 victory. The Red and Greens ground it out. We're here with Joe Smith and Captain Aaron Williams. As only the second time in our history we've made it to the first qualifying round of the FA Cup. A proud day for Coventry United. Yeah, definitely. And uh, these are the days that you play football for, really, you know, togetherness and the, the magic of the FA Cup. Obviously, we want to see how far we can get in the competition and obviously got to come to hard places like this, dig deep, um, stay together and uh, grind out results. Of course, the priority is to be promoted from the UCL Premier Division South this season, but it's always important to have a good cup run, isn't it? Yeah, as, as I mentioned there, the, the magic of the FA Cup is it's what, you, what you play football for. Um, yeah, bread and butter in the, the main priority this season is to make sure that we get promoted and we're still fully focused on that. But I think it's nice for everyone involved in the club, the fans, staff, players, to see where we can go in the FA Cup and um, looking forward to seeing who we get in the next round. I believe the draw is on uh, Monday, so we'll be uh, keeping an eye out for that. Very, very tight first half though. Both teams really deadlocked until uh, the second half. Why was that? Go on, Joe. tough game, to be <laughs> fair. Like, like you say, there's a lot of travelling to get here. It took us near enough two hours to get here. Everyone's tired as, like, when we get here already. But, you know, the lads dug deep. We come out the second half, much better team. And we perform well. We got the we got the through to the next round like we wanted, so yeah, we go we go to the next round and see what, what happens. Oh, I'll see if I can uh, drag out the bleeper machine for that one. <laughs> Uh, what he wants, he no, of course he can. Another clean sheet. This defence seems yeah. to be one of the most solid back lines Coventry United has ever had. I mean, yeah. why, why is that? Is it just such, such a cohesive well, unit? we come together and we've bonded well, so, you know, we've all got each other's back, which is a good thing from the get-go, so, you know, we just keep going from there. As you pretty much won everything in the midfield today, you were putting your body on the line, winning every header, every tackle. It's got to go down as one of your best performances for Coventry United. Um, yeah, to be fair, you, you know you have, you have good games, you have bad games, but it's, it's the lads that are around you that keep you going, the lads around you that communicate with you, let you know where your man is and things like that. I think every player that played today, and not just and the ones that didn't get on, you know we, we were on it from the start in the warm up, and um, everyone was together, like you keep saying, and, and overusing it. But it's just so true, isn't it, Joe? You know, everyone yeah, is, everyone is, 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 is a club, and um, yeah, everyone's got each other's backs. But um, like I say, whether you're having a good game or a bad game, it's about your teammates around you, drag, dragging you through it. And fortunately for me, I had one of the better days and um, won a lot of the ball. Joe, what was said at half time? Because it seemed that as soon as the first whistle blew with the second half, we just flicked a switch and it was back to the old Coventry United again. Yeah, obviously, like we say, it's a long journey, so we've got a lot of tired legs going out for the first half. We've woke up the second half and we've come out and we've played our team, which we like the team we can play as. So, yeah. As the goal for Riley O'Sullivan, I mean, there's, there's no stopping that kid, is there? How much of an asset is it to have a striker who really can't be kept quiet? Yeah, I suppose, I think, I think obviously Riley's been on fire and, uh, you know, he is our number nine. I think today was one of his more quieter games, but the encouragement you can take from that is the fact that he got his goal, um, even in his quieter game. So, you know, the fact that he's got on the score sheet today will, will add to his confidence and he, he's already a confident guy, he'll always back himself to score and, yeah, um, long may it continue. And Joe, finally, talk us through those last few minutes. As uh, Sir Bergson would say, it was squeaky bum time there, wasn't it? Yeah, Backs against the wall. Definitely. They just kept on throwing everything forward. They even started bringing the centre arse forward to, to get more up the field. But obviously, we held out, we did deep, and we got, got through to the next round. So, Well, a job well done, lads. Let's get back to the Albany. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much.